Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I love these resorts. They are so well themed and it's just such fun to come here and hang out. They have amazing different themed areas and I'm going to try to show you everything that I could and even check out the food and drink offerings. So, let's go do this. We are gonna start at the Art of Animation. And I think that's why I love these resorts so much because if you end up staying at either Pop Century or Art of Animation, you kind of get two resorts for the price of one because they're like walking distance between each other. Say you're staying at like Pop Century and you're getting breakfast every single morning in their like quick service location. And then one day you decide you wanna switch it up a little bit. You just walk three minutes and you're at Art of Animation. You can check out and see what they have. Cause I do think they offer different food options in both of their quick service locations. When I vacation to Walt Disney World, I always stayed at Pop Century. It's been a while since I've been back here. Actually, it's my first time since the parks reopened. And I just love the smell. It is so amazing in here. Out of all the resorts at Walt Disney World, I have to say Art of Animation has probably the coolest looking check-in area. It is so colorful and bright and I love it. Just look at this fanciness. It is so amazing, isn't it? And then on the other side, tons and tons of Disney artwork. Little Mermaid, Lion King, Finding Nemo, Cars. So many great classic characters. Ooh, even the laughing hyenas from The Lion King. Ed? It is almost the end of March in 2021 and they are redoing the big blue pool here. This was one of the coolest pools on property and they're kind of doing a little refurbishment of it but they do have other pools available at the Art of Animation. And I'm gonna give you a look at the map to kind of give you a, a realistic view of how close things are. As you can see, we're walking in and we are right here. This is the big blue pool. And then right across Hourglass Lake is Pop Century. So we're gonna walk over there and actually explore Pop Century too. But I wanna actually walk around like the Lion King area because I love the Lion King area. And the Cars area is really themed too. I also wouldn't mind getting something to eat at either one of the resorts. Both of the food courts have amazing food. I remember actually getting little sausages and uh, bread over at Pop Century to save money for breakfast. And I used to eat them every single morning. It only cost like two bucks, but now I kind of relate sausage and bread to, to Disney. Isn't that crazy? Art of Animation has the drop-off bar. This is a really cool spot to come hang out by the pool, get some special cocktails, and they do have some like really unique cocktails here. The Big Blue Ocean, kind of named after the pool. In a big blue world. They also have a Good Luck Charm Milkshake. Happy St. Patrick's Day, because that just passed recently. Ooh, this looks really good. A Little bit too creamy though for me. I want to take a look at the big blue pool and then head on over to the Lion King section just to see how the progress of the renovations going on. Looks like they're working hard and it's almost done. The pool's actually filled, a couple of workers there. Look at those gigantic goggles sitting over there. This is a really cool themed area. I asked a cast member and they said the big blue pool is set to open at the beginning of April. So that's just a couple days away. That's really good news. We will come back to the big blue pool a little bit later on. Right now, I wanna go into Pride Rock. Oh, I can see Rafiki up there. Maybe he'll show me the way. I love how all the different resort buildings just blend together to their theming. Do you know what I mean? Like we're going into Lion King right here and you can just see all the green and the trees. It fits perfectly and that's why I like these resorts so much. I mean they put in a lot of effort. Oh yeah, he is going to show me the way. And I think not only does the scenery change, but the music changes as well. So as we're walking through the Lion King area, we're going to hear Lion King music. And it's just going to fit perfectly. Here he is. The king. Isn't that the coolest? Look at that. It's Pride Rock. It makes me just want to sing Circle of Life. From the day we arrived on the planets, 
Oh boy, and it only gets better as we move along. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. This is so fun. Like I said earlier, there are uh, four different themed like resort areas here. We have Finding Nemo, Cars, uh, Lion King, and uh, The Little Mermaid. Let me know in the comments what your favorite like little area is. And then when we go over to Pop Century, they're gonna be broken down by the decades. And that one's hard to say, but I mean, I do love the 90s. So either one, let me know what your favorite movie section is or what your favorite decade section is because it's always nice to get like feedback. I like to hear what you guys enjoy. But of course, before we actually go to the next area, we have to visit the elephant graveyard. <laughs> it's a must. Even though it's beyond our borders and we must not go there, can't resist the elephant graveyard. Elephant graveyards are just too cool to resist. I love it. You can actually walk around underneath the tunnels there. So many amazing photo opportunities over here as well. Plus, we got Scar up there. Next, I think I'm gonna head on over to Radiator Springs. I really like it over there because it's like the closest I'm gonna get to Radiator Springs at Disney's California Adventure. And it's actually themed like pretty well. But we have to say goodbye to Simba? Is that Simba or Mufasa? Mufasa, say it again, Mufasa. I'm pretty sure that was Mufasa. Correct me if I'm wrong though, because Simba was hanging out with Timon and Pumbaa, unless that was grown up Simba, I don't know. Now we're coming up on Radiator Springs, a happy place with a cozy cone motel. This has to be one of the most amazingly themed areas right here. Look at it. It's so immersive, isn't it? And wait till we get over by the pool. That's where the other pool is. The Cozy Cone Motel Pool. And I think they have another pool over on the Little Mermaid sign. I really, really loved Radiator Springs over in uh, DCA. And I loved Luigi's Ride and also the uh, Radiator Springs Racers. Those were two amazing attractions. We can see the sign spinning there. And look, there's Luigi's over there. I love his little helper. He's the best. And tons of photo opportunities with all the different cars from the movie. I love it here. And of course, we can't forget about our good friend Tow Mater over at Tow Mater Towing and Salvage. This is the entrance to one of the buildings, and I like this. I, I would like to stay in this section or at Luigi's probably. I don't know. It's a tough one because I do like Tow Mater, but I like Luigi as well. The lobby for the Cozy Cone Motel acts as basically like the restrooms for the pool. I'm going to show you the pool as much as I can, but if there are people swimming, I don't like showing pools when there's actually people using it. Oh yeah, it is super crowded over here because the big blue pool is closed, so this is one of the only spots unless they cut through Lion King and go on the other side for the Little Mermaid. But it's really cool because they have little cabanas that are first come first serve, I believe, that are cones, you know? I really like that little detail. So that's why they call it the cozy cone pool. And I think I might change my mind. I think I would want to stay at the Wheel Well Motel over here with Lightning McQueen. This one looks probably the coolest, doesn't it? Huge buildings. Fun fact about Art of Animation though, it is a Disney pet friendly resort. I would love to take Gracie here and like spend a night. Also, uh, the uh, cabins at Fort Wilderness, that's like on my bucket list. I really, really want to take Gracie and spend a night in the woods with a fire. But if not, also I can come to Art of Animation and uh, Yacht Club. Those are the three. But let's make our way back on over to Finding Nemo. And then we're going to cross Hourglass Lake into Pop Century. Also check out the Skyliner and Gondola section. It's so hard not to just start singing in a big blue world. Every time I say the big blue pool. <laughs> Just take a look at how cool this is over here. And even though the big blue pool is closed, the splash pad is actually open. So you can come over here and uh, play with all the different fishes. <gasps> Nemo's swimming out to sea! And take a look at Crush up there. 
That's amazing. Oh, and little Dory. Dory's on Crush's fin. I like it. I think I'm gonna make my way over to Pop Century now and I wanna get something in. I'm actually a little hungry. Both of the food courts are mobile order, so we'll see what they have and then explore the different decades and just see what fun things they have. I love it. Like I said, I love just coming here and hanging out. So here's the Finding Nemo section. Here is the directory. We're coming up on the bridge, the Skyliner, and then that building right over there, it looks like, is that the 60s or the 70s? I see the yo-yo, not too sure though. And that's Pop Century. I'm pretty sure this bridge is called Generation Gap and Actually, Art of Animation was supposed to be a part of Pop Century and it got repurposed and rethemed. It sat there abandoned for a long time and I'm glad they did, especially with the Skyliner and all because it makes it perfect sense now. I love just seeing the Skyliners come into station. This is also the only area where the uh, Skyliners are above water compared to anywhere else. Really interesting, isn't it? If you are a runner or a jogger, you can jog around all of Hourglass Lake. And I hear it's a really, really nice little track. And you can't park here, but you can always catch the Skyliner and just come over, hang out, enjoy all of these amazing like themed areas. Uh, the only thing is you can't park here though. That's for resort guests only. Today I met up with a friend who is staying at Art of Animation and we were able to get a drink and just relax and chit chat and that's how I was able to park. And that's why I wanted to come out here and just show you around because I love exploring these resorts. But now we're heading right on in to the Pop Century, the Hibby Dibbity Pool. And you got Play-Doh on this side and Baloo. Baloo from the Jungle Book. You see him over there? It's Mowgli and Baloo. I love these statues. I love the ones over at the All-Star Resorts as well. I can't wait to go see the Dalmatian over there. They have so many cool, gigantic figurines. I don't know why I just call them figurines when they're giant statues. But I think we're gonna go get something to eat first because like I said, I'm a little hungry and then explore around to some more different areas. Maybe we'll start in the 90s, because that's my favorite. They used to have a lot more offerings here, but not so much. And then I checked the Art of Animation one, and same thing, they definitely toned down a lot. But they've got burgers, they got chicken strips, pot roast, turkey sandwiches, pizza, pastas, chicken parm maybe? Or some uh, pasta with meatballs? And I don't know, I haven't decided what I'm gonna get yet. Oh, a barbecue burger, that's a plant-based one as well. And then also they've got all the bakery items on here too. So you can get all of your morning fixtures, like coffee, cake, and croissant, and muffins. All the fanciness. I think I'll go with the pot roast dinner. I mean, that seems like an appropriate thing. It comes with mashed potatoes and green beans, and then a red wine gravy. Sounds pretty and fancy. Another thing I like to point out is in all of the different resort gift shops, they sell like bottles of liquor and wine. So if you don't want to pay for the high priced drinks at the pool, you can just come in here and get like a, a bottle of Jack Daniels for 18 bucks. And you could probably make uh, at least five drinks out of that. And that's the price of one drink at the pool bar. It's ready. So now you uh, just follow the prompts. It tells you to go pick up at two. So I'm going to find two. Everything is just set up for mobile order but they had some amazing food here and they were all different stations. So you're looking at one, two, three, four, five different stations that had different stuff. You know what I mean? Like pasta, pizza, burgers, like all, all special. And all of the different drink stations are closed down. I love the coffee here at Disney though. I'd always get that refillable mug and I would drink it every single morning when I stayed here. I am super hungry. So I've been looking forward to this in a while. When I decided uh, I was gonna come meet up and hang out with a friend, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna eat anything because I was that excited to come and eat at the Pop Century Food Court. Kind of like how I used to when I came on vacation. Like I literally waited all day just to come here and eat. Isn't that crazy? And here is the pot roast. I'm gonna try to open up the flaps a little bit. Well, look at that, it looks really good. Yeah. This actually looks delicious. I'm very impressed with this. I do miss the days when you can eat on a plate though. Let's see how this pot roast is. Get a little bit of mashed potato on there. Yes. Very, very soft and kind of just falls apart. 
uh, pot roast here. Yeah, get all that mashed potatoes in there. The green beans are very delicious too. I kind of been on a green bean and asparagus kick recently. Oh, also zucchini. I don't know what's happening. Like the other day, I was really, really craving tepe needles, uh, noodles, like just the noodles. And I was thinking if I could go there and uh, just get the noodles. I think I was at Epcot that day. I still haven't figured that out yet, but I'm gonna try next time I'm there. I'm just gonna be like, hey, can I order like noodles to go or anything like that? Because a lot of these restaurants on Disney property do do to go food. I'm just not sure about that one because it is a third party spot. I also do find it difficult to eat out of the box though. Like it's, it's, <laughs> it is a little difficult to eat out of the box, I feel like. It doesn't make a big mess though, at least. But now we got our food. I think it's time to move along. And the pool is playing Stand Out from a Goofy movie. Oh, wow. Oh, it's one of my favorite movies. And one of my favorite movie soundtracks. There is Petals, and that is the little pool bar that they have here. Kind of like how the drop-off was over at the uh, Big Blue Pool. And the 50s and 60s are that way. The 70s through the 90s are this way. So I think that's the way we're going to make... We're gonna head on over through the 70s through the 90s. That pot roast was surprisingly amazing. I really felt good. I didn't get a dessert because if we do end up over at the Art of Animation, maybe we'll see what they have as a dessert in their food courts. That way I can show you both of the food courts. So many amazing memories though here. We got Goofy with the Corvette. I remember taking tons of photos here. I talk about like as if this was a long time ago in my childhood, but it wasn't. Like I was a grown adult staying here and uh, I think it was in 2014 was the last time I stayed here. So it was seven years ago? Wow. Seven years ago. Fancy. And I remember we stayed over here in this section and I loved it because they had the big wheel right there and then the gigantic fool's ball like court and of course the Mickey Mouse telephone. I actually had this telephone. I still do, I think, somewhere. It's just so amazing. I just remember coming here and just being like, wow, look at all these gigantic things. It's so much fun. And it really does like make you feel like you're like at somewhere special. And that's what I loved about Disney. So you always felt like you were like some amazing place because it is an amazing place, but really, really captivates your imagination. <laughs> And this is all just the 70s section. They also have like different areas where you could play Twister, but I think that's not, not available now because of, you know, touching. So <laughs> we'll see if they have them actually out anymore. Oh yeah, right here, look at that. Oh, it's a little bit dirty and you could play it. I mean, it's not anything telling you you can't. Just got a spinner, I wonder if the spinner still works. Oh yeah. Left, oh, nope, yep, left hand red. I don't know about that. And I forgot about the cool potato head statues. These were the absolute coolest. I definitely took like a hundred photos standing in between them, pretending like they were giving me a high five. Another cool thing is as you're walking alongside the water, they have little signs that give you a little bit like of trivia facts about the different uh, decades. And I like that because some of the stuff I never knew. In 1986, $1.1 million is paid for a one minute TV ad on the Super Bowl. And the federal budget deficit reaches $2 trillion. <laughs> Now I think we'll head into the 80s section here. They have a pool over here, and I think it's the 90s the pool is technically at, but the 80s and the 90s are really close together. The gigantic Rubik's Cube staircases. These are staircases that actually take you up to the different levels because there's uh, first level, second level, third level, fourth level. And then you can see this is the Pac-Man building. Oh, I blocked it with the tree, but you'll be able to see the Pac-Man ghost over here. Look it. Isn't that awesome? I love it. The only thing is, is in the 90s section, they always have these great iconic symbols for the decades. And I feel like they missed the mark in the 90s section, just by a little bit. 
you can see we have the Sony Walkman right here, which is amazing. And then this gigantic keyboard. Now, the keyboard is kind of cool, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't serve a purpose. It's just there. But Roger Rabbit on a big barrel of turpentine is amazing. I'm going to mop, mop, mop all day long mop 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 as i sing this song i'm gonna wax that floor gonna make it shine i'm gonna take off the spray paint with turpentine the thing i don't understand is the floppy disk pool and oh who come a come a come a come a come a chameleon you wanna go <laughs> look at that floppy disk because they have floppy disk there and then CDs on the Surf the Net building surrounded by a gigantic laptop. Isn't that like a little off putting though? Like floppy disk, laptop, CDs, and rollerblades. But what I do like to look is on the laptop what they're actually searching. You can see they got uh, Disney.com and it's got like a Aladdin clip and then ABC News and then all of the parks. So it says MGM Studios right there. Disney's MGM Studios, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, water parks, very nifty. It's nice to see that MGM Studios uh, logo though. And this is just a stack of floppy disks. I don't know what it says on top. It says game something. I can't read the other side there. Now I think we're gonna move along and head back on over to the main pool area at Pop Century. I like walking down this like walkways. These are right next to the rooms. I like the pink building. It's very, very nice. Look at that background. It's very pretty, isn't it? And then that's the check-in area. And also, that's where you get the buses. So if you were in the uh, 80s and 90s, you have a quick walk to the front and that's actually not too bad. Probably the most quiet area though out of all pop century is right here on the back side of the 70s I believe there's like a little playground and there's literally it's so peaceful back here. I hear birds chirping It's in a nice wooded area Very quiet and it's beautiful actually There's the playground over there I really enjoy this just a quick walk to the lobby and the big pool now I think we're gonna jump right into the 60s. These are yellow buildings and I like the yellow too. Very vibrant colors. And I think I showed these on the way in, but they have the gigantic yo-yos for staircases and eight tracks. I really just wanna see what it's like to be inside a giant yo-yo. So we're gonna take a pit stop over here. Look at this. Isn't it so cool? And these are the stairways. They just take you right up inside the yo-yo itself. Gigantic. And a little bit more of the cool trivia. I came across another sign that I think is pretty interesting. In 1971, Walt Disney World Resort opens in Orlando, Florida. And Intel produces the first microprocessor chip. So many amazing things happened in 71. And just like that, we are back at the Skyliner. I think the 50s and 60s are over on the other side. I don't know what they have, but maybe we'll take a quick see. I just want to see what big structures they have. In 1967, Thurgood Marshall becomes the first African-American appointed to the Supreme Court. And Disney's The Jungle Book swings into theaters. So, uh, Mowgli and Baloo were for the 60s. And then I think I see bowling pins over there, yeah. So that must have been for the 50s and that's a purple building but take a look at all of our glass lake from here and that's art of animation right over here like i said you were literally uh i would say uh like three minute walk so if you're looking for a building closer to the skyliner i would stick to the 60s and 70s like you used to because literally right there this is the running trail that I was talking about. You actually start off here at Art of Animation. You run all the way around the lake and you go through the 80s and 70s and 60s and 50s and then Little Mermaid, Lion King, and then right back to the big blue pool. I took a look at the food or the desserts that they had over at the Landscape of Flavors, which is what the food court is at Art of Animation here. They didn't have anything that really stood out to me, so instead I think I'm going to take you over to the Little Mermaid side because I think we skipped that in the beginning. 
but in order for us to get to the Little Mermaid section, we have to visit somewhere we must not go, the Elephant Graveyard. It's also important to point out that the Little Mermaid section is the farthest away. Like, Little Mermaid is basically on the whole entire other side of the resort. So if you end up staying here uh, and you want to be close to everything, I wouldn't suggest the Little Mermaid area. It is gigantic though, as you can see from here. I think it's the biggest uh, resort area. Oh, well, no, not really. Cars is kind of the biggest, but as you can see, like Cars is right here, or Radiator Springs, then the uh, Animation Hall, Lion King, and Little Mermaid's all the way over here. So, pretty far away. But, I saved the best for last because they have the coolest statues and figurines over here. Like how I said now statues and figurines. There is a gigantic dingle hopper right here. And I believe this is a Snorflax. I'm not too sure. If, uh, if it's not a Snorflax, let me know what it is in the uh, comments there. I'm pretty sure it's a Snorflax though. And then it has three different statues and its own pool that probably is the best. Like I, I honestly, I say the Little Mermaid is like the farthest away, but I think this is the coolest area right up there with Lion King. Cause Lion King's pretty cool, but Lion King doesn't have a pool. A giant King Triton over there and also a puppy. So this must be where the pets area is. Oh, so if I bring Gracie here, we're gonna be staying in the Little Mermaid section. And then Ursula, look at that. Ursula is one of my favorite villains. She's amazing. And the animatronic for uh, the Little Mermaid ride at Magic Kingdom is so impressive. And then on the other side of the pool, they have Ariel and Flounder. So awesome, isn't it? And this pool is popping too. So I guess with that, I am done for this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely love coming to the resorts and just hanging out. I feel like it's just as fun as coming to a park. You get to see such amazing Disney movie like statues and just experience all the resort. It's so fun. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Make sure to let me know what your favorite area was and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.